hello hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and today we are going to see how you can add a tree domain inside your other forest domain controller so let's get started this is my the server 2k22 and uh, this server i'm going to add as a, a tree domain controller so now you see the computer name is a lab server and it's inside the work group and uh, i have assign the IP address for this device let me give it try to uh, ping that AD servers because AD server should be reachable so ping AD and my the AD server is reachable that is a parent domain controller and let me show you where is my the domain controller so this is what my the domain controller here and I'm going to add a one more domain inside my the .com. So let me go back to my the test devices here. Go to the dashboard. Uh, click on roles and the features. Now click on next. Click on next. And next. And now here is a active directory domain services. So let me select this. Click on next. Click on next. Click on next. And now installed. So once this will installed, we'll promote the server and we'll configure the our a tree domain active directory. So let's just wait for this. So now the server has configured. It's showing the succeed. Now click on closed and go to here and promote the server as a domain controller. And now you have the option here and select the tree domain and now here is the forest domain name what we have here let's go to the once.com and let's decide what we are giving here so I'm giving the us.com inside the, uh, and just go for the change credential And here I'm giving the once slash admin. This is my the the forest uh, once dot com account. Uh, this is the admin. So now it's taken. Let's go for the next. Now it's asking for this password. Let's read. It's still configured. It's configuring the settings in the background. Yes, yeah, so now it's asking for the password. Let me enter the password. You can choose any of the password for your uh, your directory survey DSRM. Go next. Go next. And now here it will show the your NetBIOS name. And now it's US, that's fine. Let's go next. And here is the detail for your database folder, log folder, and the syswall folder. Let me go on next. And now click on next to configure your settings. So now our child domain is installed. Let's prerequisite are checked and let's click to the installed. And just wait for some time once it's done and then we can done with this lab so now the setup is installed let me restart this device and then it will implement automatically so And guys, once it's done, then it will show you under your the active directory here in the site and the services. So let me refresh this.
and that server will be showing here so the lab server it's reflecting here and it will configure the completely and in my the last video i was showing you the tally tc so once it done it here then we can start the configuration so the lab server is added under as a uh, inside this site as as your the child dc so its entry is not coming once it's rebooted then it uh, you can see this the entry properly will be showing here as a domain so guys thank you for watching this video see you soon in my the next video